so today's session is about self-tape competition. So whether you're in this competition or interested in this competition, um, we'll be going through all of the information you need to know about it. Alrighty, so what is a self-tape? We did just post a slider today with some more information about self-tapes if you don't know what that is. Um, but what it is is a filmed audition that you, the actor or model, tapes themselves. So this self-tapes are becoming very, very huge in this industry. They were already becoming big before the pandemic, but now um, they're definitely something that you need to have practice in if you're interested in modeling or acting. Acting more specifically, but even models, you may be asked to submit a self-tape for commercials or even some bookings, um, even if it's a moving digital type thing. Every week. Brianna, so you would be sent, um, she's saying she's at school usually when we're doing the lives. So if you're at school when we're doing the lives, we do send on Thursdays a copy of the sessions and they're also all uploaded on our YouTube channel. Okay, and I hope you feel better. So a uh, self-tape is an audition an actor films on their own and send in sends in remotely. It's requested by casting and submitted electronically. So the actor and talent is responsible for recording, um, as well as editing their self-tape together and then sending it to their agent, manager, or directly to casting, depending on their circumstance. So you're usually provided with sides and instructions and then a deadline. So in, the industri in this industry, the deadlines are hard. So um, if you're submitting through Breakdown Express, which is what your agent uses to submit you for jobs, the submission link will close. So once the deadlines hit, that link closes and that's it. So there are no kind of second chances as far as submitting your self-tapes. Um, for CMTC self-tape competition, we do try to hold you to that same standard so you're really getting the experience. Of course, we know we're working with new faces, so if you have technical difficulties, we will be more understanding. But to be fair to the other contestants who are submitting in this competition, the deadline, the April 1st deadline, is a hard deadline, okay? So, and why are self-tapes so good and why is it important? to be able to record a self-tape and have some practice doing that. Well, again, like I said, they're becoming very huge in this industry and are already huge in this industry, I should say. And often, especially for film, self-tapes are your first step. So it's no longer a first step in a live in-person audition. It's first step is your self-tape. And then they'll go through the self-tapes, pick their top um, selections from those, and then bring you in for a callback for an in-person audition or a reading with another actor who's already been booked for the job or who they're looking to maybe book for the job as well, okay, for like a chemistry read. Just looking to see if anyone has questions so far. Okay, so the ability to self-tape is, especially for us Canadians, very exciting because it doesn't matter where you live. You can submit yourself for work that's happening in New York, LA, Vancouver, if you're not in Vancouver, Toronto, if you're not in Toronto, and the other big entertainment markets. And again, for models, for commercial work, it's very important to be able to take a self-tape and, and know how to submit it. Even if you're not working with sides, it might just be a, an improv of sorts. Okay, so again, self-tapes. If you're new to acting or have been just started in acting, this competition will really give you the real experience of what it's like to receive your sides or your scripts. So sides are also referred to as scripts um, and getting that in through the deadline and recording them. Okay, any questions so far? No? Okay. So this competition is really exciting. It started in 2019 for us and we worked with some of our LA managers and agents and they helped us kind of design the competition and every year they actually help us with the scripts as well. So again, you are getting the actual experience that you need um, to move forward in this industry through this competition. So we select a, a, round, a round of judges for this, but we also send the self-tapes to all of the talent agents who are attending CMTC for showcase purposes. So even if they're not judging, they may watch all of these self-tapes just to see who they're interested in before even getting to CMTC. So it's a great opportunity for exposure as well. Um, the self-tapes are going to be due on April 1st, 2023, and we do provide scripts for this competition. So I'll go over the rules in just a second, but the scripts are provided. 
So on March 15th, 2023, they will be released on the Contestant Hub based on your division. So you select, you'll go on the Contestant Hub, select the script that corresponds with your division, and that's the script you will learn. So I highly, highly recommend that as soon as we release those scripts on March 15th, that you hop on there and grab your script and start learning it. And I would take some time to learn the script even before you go to record. Okay, so we definitely recommend, depending on the level, we understand the little ones might need a little more prompting. Um, again, th it is open to four to seven. So the scripts are designed for a four to seven year old actor who would be expected to learn their lines in the role. So even if they can't read, mom and dad can help them um, and provide them with the lines and then they can even repeat them. But the four to seven scripts, for example, are a lot smaller than the scripts for our teenagers and our adults. Does everyone have the same script like age-wise? Yes, so that's for judging. So you can take your creative flair based on the script and do what you want for it, do what you want with it, I should say. Um, but all of the scripts are the same for each division, okay? What time will it be released? Great question. So usually right in the mornings. Um, so just keep hopping on and logging in. And once they are officially released, we'll send everyone an email as well, just letting you know that they're released. Great question. Okay, so I'm just gonna go over some of the rules. So in this competition, con contestants are required to video record themselves with the pre-selected script prior to the CMTC event. So again, this competition takes place before C you even get to CMTC. So it's important to know. And we do provide scripts. So you do not use your own script. You, if you submit a self-tape with using um, a script you made up or a different script or even a script from a different division, you will not be included for the judging. So make sure you're careful with that. Um, and again, the scripts will be released on the Contestant Hub on March 15th, 2023. Okay, so you'll be able to download them from the Contestant Hub. If you do have any problems with that, it'll be a PDF, but if you have problems with that, you can just email our team and we'll make sure that you get your proper script for your division, okay? Okay, so again, only the pre-selected scripts can be used. You cannot use a different script. Don't use a different script from the wrong division. Don't use a script that you made up. Don't confuse this competition with, say, TV commercial competition where you are making up your own script. This one, you need to use a script that's provided based on your division, okay? So um, regarding slating, so contestants must begin their self-tape by slating their name. And if you're under 18, you also slate your age. And this is for the industry reps who are judging and also viewing these self-tapes for showcase purposes, they need to know your age if you're under 18, okay? And that's because in this industry, there are rules that you cannot book if you, especially in the States as well, they have different regulations than we do in Canada, but you can't book certain rules if you are under the age of 18. So that's why they wanna know your age, okay? Because we often do say, it doesn't matter your age in this industry, it matters how you look, and that is true. Um, but for certain jobs, you do have to be over the age of 18. So that's why we want you to slate your age if you are under the age of 18. If you're over 18, should you state your age? You don't need to. So we just want to know your name if, um, if you're over the age of 18. Because once you're over 18, it doesn't matter. It's what you look like and not as much your age. Okay, good question. So you're, the judging is based on performance, delivery, believability, and acting range. So again, feel free to take creative liberties with the script. We, over the years, I've seen some self-tapes that is a different, or it's the same script, but it completely comes off differently based on the actor's choices. So that's not a bad thing, that's actually a great thing to see kind of the different ranges that you can take it, or how you've read the character. So definitely take creative liberty on that sense of things. My daughter turns 12 on April 15th, should she say 11 or 12? So. Madison, just make sure that you're sending us an email. It will be the division that you registered for. So if you're turning 12 on April 15th, then you would have registered for your division based on the age as of CMTC, so May 3rd to 7th, 2023. So you would be in the 12 to, Madison would be in the 12 to 15 division. Or the registrant, sorry, it would be in the 12 to 15 division. And if you're not sure of your division, you can just email our team again and ask, and then we'll resend you your confirmation email, which will show you your division. And again, it's the age as of CMTC 2023. So as of May 3rd to 7th, how old are you? And that should correspond with your division, okay? Alrighty, so 
The self tapes are due April 1st, 2023. So you will upload them through the form on the contestant hub. And again, this is a hard deadline. So you don't want to be late in submitting. You're just looking at some questions. The, the self tapes are due April 1st. So just want to make sure. Yeah, that's a great question. So I do see what you're saying there, but make sure that you're going by the division that you registered for, which should be your date of birth and then the age you are as of May 3rd to 7th, 2023. Great question. Should you stay neutral because you don't know the director's vision or just be creative? So again, that's a great question. Um, I would suggest taking some creative liberties. Definitely read the script and try to read the tone of the script. Is it comedy? Is it more serious? How's the character feeling? You should be able to deduce that from reading the script. But you can, like I said, put a creative flair on that if you would like to. So make your choices as an actor. Because at the end of the day, if you book a job, they are booking you for your acting abilities. And the directors will be very clear with you with what they want. However, again, it is about being creative. So, and being able to play that character and get into that character and act in a way that you think that character would act. Yeah. Okay. Another great question. So this competition is also judged on a closed set. So what does that mean? It means that the reps are being sent the links to your videos and they will watch it to themselves. There's no audience that are going to see um, your self tapes unless you're a winner um, at CMTC, then we will definitely likely post our winner, first runner up, and sometimes even our second runner up for educational purposes. So the next group of people can learn from what their self tapes look like and kind of get a vibe of who was selected as a top contestant. So we did just post our four to seven winner, or four to 12 winner, I should say, um, on our Instagram recently. We also posted a bunch of our winners on our YouTube channel, and I'll continue to post some more of those self-tape examples on our Instagram as we kind of keep going. I also posted some tips, like I said today, on what self-tape is, and we'll post some more tips as we move forward and as that April 1st deadline approaches. Okay, so um, if you want to be in self tape competition and you're not in self tape competition, you can just use that request to add form on our contestant hub or send us an email and you can make sure that you're in this competition if you want to be. Again, great exposure for our actors, especially as we do send all of our industry reps who are working in the talent industry a copy of these self tapes for them to take a look at. So one great example that we've talked about, we did talk about during the seminars is our little Ava Murchison, Ava Louise. She is actually just booked the lead role of Jane on Apple TV, Apple Plus TV, I should say. And she actually came to CMTC in 2019. She was a winner of self-tape competition. Her current manager, Chelsea Striano, saw her, um, her self-tape before even getting to CMTC and burst through her office doors as soon as she arrived and said, when can I meet Ava? I want to meet Ava. I know I want to work with her already through from the self tape. So then Chelsea watched her all weekend and she was super impressed by Ava and now they're working together. So again, this competition gets you some really great exposure. How long are the scripts? Okay, so that depends on, again, how you're performing them. You'll notice on YouTube that there's between a little less than a minute to a minute and a half. We don't necessarily have a limit on how long the scripts are because we record them ourselves actually and test them and see how long they're gonna be because we do wanna keep them under two minutes for the reps because they're having to watch so many of them. Um, however, we don't limit you. So someone could read it and it could come off a minute. Someone could also perform it and it could come off a minute and 30. So you won't be penalized for that at all. It is just kind of dependent on how fast you say the lines. Um, the other reader, so a lot of the scripts, I'll go over that in a second, have a reader, meaning someone off camera reading the other character's lines. And so that it depends how fast your reader is. So there's a, a bunch of different variables there. So we ourselves record um, the cell tapes and the scripts just to make sure that they're under two minutes, like at max. And then, so again, you're not, be, you're not gonna be penalized. So as long as you perform the script that you're given, and they'll stop at the start at the start and stop at the end, then that's all we want to see. I hope that answers your question. Great question though. Okay, so tip from the judges. So sorry, I lost you for a second there. Um, technical difficulties, and we'll get into that in a second. 
Thank you. Okay, so the, t the tip from the judges is record and re-record until you can, are really happy with your final product. So what does that mean? We are, yeah, so last thing is based outside of LA. So again, I'll just, re I'll just restart with this tip from the judges because it's really important. So self-tapes are becoming increasingly popular in the entertainment industry, especially for talent based outside of Los Angeles and New York. So, so that's us. This is a great opportunity to practice the art of self-taping. So this competition is a great opportunity for you to, again, to practice what it's like in a real industry standard self-tape situation. So their big tip is record and re-record until you're happy with the self-tape. So that means you're submitting the best version that you have recorded, the version that you're happy with. And again, we don't need to see anything from you until April 1st. So you're getting two weeks to learn the script record your self tape and submit to us. So again, don't just record once and submit it. Record as many times as you feel comfortable and practice makes perfect. So definitely take the opportunity to learn their script, work with your reader, whoever that may be, um, mom, dad, friend, family member, sibling, whoever it may be, it doesn't matter to us. We've had some people even have their reader on like a Skype call if they don't really live with anybody that can help them, that's fine too. So for us, the reader, I'll get more into that in a second, but again, keep re-recording until you're happy with your finished product and then send it to us. So in this industry, things move fast, so you're not usually given two weeks with a script and to send in a cell tape. Often it can be a couple days, sometimes it's even 24 hours or less. So take this opportunity to really practice self-taping and just submit the one that you are the most happy with because it's a big opportunity to have these reps watching your video, okay? Your self-tape. So again, their big tip is record and re-record until you're happy. Okay, so tips for self-tape competition, some more tips. So again, make sure you download the proper script, the script that matches your division for CMTC. Your division should, should correspond with your age as of CMTC 2023, so May 3rd to 7th. Okay, so the script's going to be a dialogue between two characters. We will clearly mark who you are as the CMTC contestant and then who your reader is. We literally highlight all of your lines and then the lines that aren't highlighted will be your reader. Again, the reader is just the character. They don't have to have their lines memorized. They're off camera. It's just you in the frame as the actor, as the CMTC contestant. You're the only person in the frame, but the reader will be off camera reading their lines. So you'll have your lines memorized, hopefully, as the CMTC contestant, and then your dialogue will be a back and forth between you and your reader. Okay, so again, ensure that you are performing the, um, the lines that are for you. So your lines, and again, they will be indicated. So the character that is not being played by the contestant, who again we refer to as the reader, should be off camera and out of frame. That's really, really important. Off camera and out of frame and should clearly be heard. So that's really important too. So make sure your reader is heard as because the reps are looking at how you are as the actor um, working with this reader and how you're acting in response to their lines. Okay. And someone just asked a question about runway. We are going to have a live session in regards to runway because that competition takes place at CMTC. It's just a little, a little later on in our live schedules. Okay. So, um, so the tip of the reader should be someone who's willing to get into character just a little bit at least so you can feed off of that energy. Again, they don't have to be um, someone who's even into acting, but at least have explained to them what the, the character what's happening in the scene and what the character is expected to sound like. So if they sound sad, make sure they sound maybe a little sad. And that's just who, for you as the actor can go off of that energy, okay? But again, they don't need to be a real actor. They just need to be able to say the lines, okay? And memorize your lines to the best of your ability. And you have two weeks to learn this script. So take that opportunity. And again, take the opportunity you have to get in front of these reps with your self tapes and learn your script. So before you even start recording, just try to start memorizing your script, okay? And like I said, re-record as many times as you need, and that maybe will help you learn your lines as well, okay? So also avoid props. It's about you, and again, as I've talked about in different live sessions, we want you to 
be the focus. We don't want any props in your hands being distracting or um, taking away from you and your performance, okay? I wear glasses, but for my headshot, I didn't. For my self-tape, should I do it without my glasses? Like for my headshot, thanks. If you can see without your glasses or if you have contacts, um, I would definitely recommend not wearing your glasses just in case there's a glare. However, if you're more comfortable with your glasses, that's fine too. Okay, good question. Okay, so yeah, keep, on, keep the focus on your lines and your acting abilities and less on what's going on um, in your hands. For, so no props. And again, they, I'll go over the framing in a second, but your frame is usually from your chest up unless under, otherwise um, indicated. So you definitely want to make sure that there's nothing going on. Even right now I'm seated, I would be standing for my self-tape. Okay, so the script is open to interpretation, as I said. So let the script speak to you and portray the character that you believe that you're getting from that said script. So usually we make it pretty clear the tone of the script, but again, take your creative liberties. This is about you and your abilities. So make sure you're making choices that show your acting abilities. Okay, and wardrobe. So keep it simple. Again, I, I feel like I keep on saying this, but keep it simple, nothing too distracting. If you have something, a background behind you, again, my background would be too busy. Um, however, I wouldn't wanna wear white on white because then um, I'm blending in with my background a little bit. So, and I would also avoid wearing bold patterns. And again, anything that matches your background. So if you're standing in front of a white wall, let's say, I wouldn't wear white, maybe wear black instead, or a different solid color um, that maybe complements your eyes or your skin tone. Um, just because you don't wanna blend in with your backdrop, you want again to be the focus on you, and that could be distracting in itself. Okay, so does anyone have any questions so far? Okay, must be explaining it very well. Okay, so filming and frame. So your filming background should be a neutral co color, even throughout, and look good while lit. So this isn't really even throughout, this is kind of distracting. Um, so I wouldn't wanna use a background like this. Um, solid white or solid black background is recommended. You don't need to go out and buy a background. If you have a solid color wall in your home, that's fine. We can also recommend, or we also recommend curtains or even shower curtains, anything like that. That's fine as well. It's nothing, um, not a big deal about buying a backdrop. Don't go out and buy one. If you have one, that's awesome. If not, find a blank wall that has good natural lighting. So that's very important. So you can be seen and that is just so important. You just wanna be seen and you wanna be able to be heard. Those are the two big things is being seen and being heard in your self tape. So if you play your video and you can't hear you and you can't see you, then please don't submit it. Make sure you are seen and heard. Those are the two big things. And if you submit something where you can't see yourself and you can't hear yourself, then it's likely we can't hear you either, okay? So unless otherwise specified, it's a tight frame from your chest to just above the top of your head. So like this, in your self tape. Okay, so not a long shot. Again, that's so that um, casting directors can see, or in this case, the industry reps can see your expression. And again, so you can be clear. Okay, just lost connection again. Hopefully you can hear me. And you're telling a story. Yes, exactly, Brianna. So you're telling a story with your character and you want to be heard and you want to be seen. So again, the farther you are back, the harder it is to hear you and the harder it is for these reps to see your expression, which is also very important okay so another big tip is make sure your camera is as steady as possible if you don't have a tripod that's fine but just make sure whoever is holding your camera has a steady hand and you're not shaking because again that is distracting from you and the bottom line about this is this is about you and your abilities and showcasing your acting abilities okay so you can use a smartphone you can use a laptop or a camera to record so Again, those three, laptop, camera, and phone, a smartphone, will be in the correct format, like an MP4 or .mov format. That's what we're looking for here. If you have any problems submitting your self-tape to us, just send us an email and we will help you out. We'll give you kind of some alternatives to send it to us. 
But again, if we have trouble opening it and it's April 1st, it's a little harder for us to help you as we have so many self tapes coming in. So like I said, the scripts are available March 15th. Start learning them. Start recording yourself and submit as soon as you can, much like your program book photo. So that if you do have problems, we can help you. Okay. So again, the format should be MP4 or .mov. So these are typical formats if you're recording through a smartphone, laptop, and a camera recorder. Okay. So as I just said, leave time for technical difficulties. So in this industry, as I said at the beginning of the session, if you miss a self tape audition deadline, there are no second chances. So on Breakdown Express, as I said at the beginning of this, your agent who is submitting your self tapes for you would be going to a link and the link expires after the deadline has been hit. So you this take this seriously, take this as you would a real self tape situation and send it in by the deadline, okay? Out of fairness, we can't accept self tapes that come in late. Great question. Should we record in portrait or landscape? So again, great question. So I was about to get there. Landscape or horizontal? We will accept vertical. However, again, horizontal or landscape is typical for this industry. So that's what we are expecting from you. You'll notice from all of the examples we posted from our winners, they're all landscape and horizontal. So don't record like it's Instagram reel. Record like you would see on a widescreen television, let's say. So for us, um, we aren't going to disqualify you if it is portrait mode um, or vertical. However, in this industry, it is usually required it be horizontal um, or landscape. So that's a great question. Have any tips for memorizing the script? So I would just say practice, practice, practice. I do know some people will record themselves saying the script and then they'll kind of listen to it throughout the day in their earbuds or even fall asleep with it in their ears and kind of learn it subconsciously that way as well. Um, but my biggest suggestion would just be practicing. And if you have a reader selected, then maybe practicing with your reader even before you're recording. Great question. Okay. So like I said, if um, we've added winners from last year on our YouTube channel, and we've even added some first runner-ups and second runner-ups as well, and I would take a look at those for some examples based on your division or even watch someone who wasn't in your division just to see kind of their creative spin. You'll notice some of them are the same script. If they aren't the same script, it's because last year we did break it up um, based on ages and this year will be broken down and trophies will be awarded according to your exact division. So we broke it up even more. So definitely take a look at those for some educational from learning. We also have a educational session with Taylor Wright on there that we recorded, I think, a year and a half ago. And she talks about tips for self tapes. She actually was one of the reps who helped us design self tape competition. So her feedback is very, very um, valuable. So I would take the chance to, even before the scripts are released, to watch her session and see what she has to say about self tapes. Okay. There you go. Brianna just gave some tips for you as well. Okay. So definitely take a look at those examples. We'll keep posting tips for self tapes as well through our Instagram and Facebook pages. And then, um, like I said, the best way to learn is do. So definitely get that script on March 15th, download it, learn it, start recording yourself and re-record yourself until you're happy with it. And Martine, what are the judging elements again? Performance, delivery, believability, and acting ability. So let me just So judging is based on performance, delivery, believability, and acting range. Good question. Okay. Let's see if there's any more questions. Okay, I'm about to sign off, but if you have any more questions, just wait one more minute just to see if any pop through. I know the readers are something that um, some individuals can get concerned about. Again, um, most of the time from the self-tapes I've seen from our contestants, it's a family friend, it's a friend, it's a sister, it's a brother, it's mom or dad or your guardian. That type 
that is perfect. That's all you need for a reader. Again, you don't need someone who's really, really into acting. You just want to explain to them the tone of the script and just have them say, okay, you, you sound happy, you sound sad, just so you can work off of them. And again, the biggest, biggest, biggest thing is that you are seen. And then even bigger thing is that you can be heard in your self tapes. Okay. Cause you can't judge them if we can't see or hear you. And that's even in, if a real self tape situation, if you are sending it to a client or a casting director, if they can't hear or see you, they're changing, they're looking at their next self tape. So you really do need to make sure that you can be seen and you can be heard. And as social media continues to grow, it's more common for people to be recording themselves and recording situations. So it's, it's more likely that you'll be okay with sending these in. But I know a couple years ago, there was a lot more issues with technical difficulties. So again, to avoid technical difficulties, try to get the self tapes in sooner than the April 1st deadline so our team can help you and our team can give you a little more time to try to figure out what's going on with your self tape and making sure that we can see it and making sure you get it to us so we can get it to the judges. Okay, I think I covered everything here. This is a great competition. Again, a great opportunity to be seen by these industry reps. Again, we send them to all the talent reps who are attending CMTC. So not only those that are selected as judges, but all of the reps for the showcase opportunity for all of those who are in this competition. Thanks, Melissa. Thank you, our team. Alrighty, so next week is upcoming deadlines. So we're just going to review some of the deadlines that are upcoming. And I just want to go over those again as things are gearing up here. And I think there's like 80 something days until CMTC. So we're getting close. And I just want to make sure everyone again is aware of all of the deadlines, um, including these self tape deadlines. So it's again, March 15th, then they're due April 1st. Um, cover and commercial print will be the week after next. And those photos are due April 1st as well. So I'll talk about that again next week. Okay. I hope you all have a great evening and we'll see you next week.